I'm Liz Brown Swanson with a special RPV TV update as we're about to join our local law enforcement team as they participate in the 38th annual Torch Run to benefit the Special Olympics of Southern California. So right now everyone's stretching out, they're getting ready to start their run. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. So this run will take place here, at, we'll start at Terranea and we'll head westbound, PV Drive South, and we will be handing the torch run to uh, PV Estates PD. I'm being joined by the Lomita Station captain before she's about to hit the road. You've done this run before. Talk about the excitement and the importance of it all. Hi, thank you, Liz. Uh, it's actually very important. I am, uh, this is my second time. I ran, I wanna say about a year, maybe two years ago, but it's a great event. It's um, for the Special Olympics and I'm truly excited to be here and um, to run with Lomita Station. And this is obviously your teams out here and you're one of the biggest fundraisers for the Special Olympics, the law enforcement efforts. You're gonna go to the games. Yes, I am. Um, we will be at opening ceremonies at Cal State Long Beach, so I will definitely be there in attendance. It's a tremendous honor. Um, you know, I think this is a this is a, a very worthy cause, and I'm I'm so happy that this is a tradition that I get to be a part of. I've been a part of it in the past. Happy to continue to be a part of it, and uh, I, I hope that we're doing this for many many years Woo! to come. You get the great job of like just leading the traffic and making sure they all stay, stay safe. This is actually my second time coordinating the Special Olympics run and you know coming from a background who act, I actually have a sister who's special needs. This is actually pretty special for me you know. Um, it's giving it's giving people hope that they can do anything that they want to and you know building self-esteem and everything and it, it's really lovely to see that law enforcement you know joins in this part you know joins the special olympics and it we're just all becoming one all right i'm with chief barber as we're getting ready for the official torch pass off to your team just a little bit about the excitement of the day and the importance well i think this is a great event uh, especially for the special olympians um, for us to be able to come out here and participate in this event it, it means a lot to everybody my name is Lou Kalinga. I'm a police captain for Palos Verdes Estates, and it's a pleasure to do this run again. I think I've participated maybe um, over five years now, and it's a wonderful event to support the community and the Special Olympians, that, especially those that are in our community. We, we have a couple of our police service aides that are running with us and a couple of our newer officers, and we, we do a lot of preparation on our own uh, to make sure we're ready for this. I, I actually love running, so it's, it's a wonderful time for me to come out. Wrapping up the torch run with the captain, you did that. Congratulations. How did it feel out there? It felt great, actually. Um, I haven't ran, and it's been a while, but it's nice and to actually you know have an outside agency and our partnership and collaboration with them it's it's amazing how the two departments and two two agencies uh can get together and for a good cause joined by leslie with special olympics you've been involved for 10 years now just talk about the importance of this torch run that's taking place right now well law enforcement from across southern california get together and show support for inclusion and special olympics athletes they raise millions of dollars for the athletes through this event and throughout the year. Uh, law enforcement is one of Special Olympics Southern California and Special Olympics nationwide biggest supporters. Um, and we're so thankful that they are coming out today and showing support for our athletes. Of course, we're capturing what's happening right in our community, Rancho Palos Verdes with the Sheriff's Department, Palos Verdes is the states. They'll be passing the torch on to our Torrance Police Department. How many people are involved in this in Southern California? How it's been over a week you said it takes place in? Yeah, well, there's uh, all the way from uh, San Diego up to San Luis Obispo, officers are running. Uh, I think it's pretty impossible to, to estimate the magnitude of that, but it's, uh, it's amazing. Our annual summer games is happening this weekend, uh, June 8th and 9th at Cal State Long Beach. Everyone's welcome to come out and show support for the athletes. It's free and open to the public. There's a festival for the kids, and uh, just bring your whole family out and, and cheer on the athletes. It's, uh, it's an experience like no other. You'll, you'll leave feeling inspired and just positive about the world. And I know there'll definitely be some athletes from our own community there to cheer on. If people want to get involved, how do they do that? Just visit our website, SOSC.org. Uh, there's volunteer opportunities throughout the year, uh, fundraising events, competitions throughout the year, summer games. Not, it's not our only competition. There's thousands of athletes throughout Southern California with intellectual disabilities uh, that we show, we support. Um, Special Olympics really makes a big difference in their lives uh, and helps them with their self-esteem. Uh, it's not only sports. 
It's about just inclusion and everybody having the right to leave, lead a full and happy life. All right, so we're going to wrap up our torch coverage through the peninsula here in Malaga Cove. A big thank you to all law enforcement officers involved in this incredible effort. You can get more information about the Special Olympics in Southern California on SOSC.org. I'm Liz Brown Swanson with an RPV TV update. Thanks for tuning in.